Zoomed sent us all of these enclosures for the new Caledonian room, including a bunch of lighting and everything else. And so today starts the day for the build for the new Caledonian room. I couldn't be more excited because it's gonna be absolutely epic. So this room right here, that basically is just a plank room, will start to get racks today. But before we get that going, we have to head to Home Depot and buy a whole bunch of two by fours. So let's get to building here. Each wall, I just put a piece of a, kind of a schematic of what it is. So each of these are gonna have 18 by 18 by 18. So there's gonna be 18 of these guys on this wall. And then this wall is gonna have like a nicer, bigger display, and some taller skyscrapers. Regardless, the, this wall that I'm gonna start on right here is actually these ones right here. These are actually the 18 by 18 by 18s. These are what they call the NT3s from ZoomEd. And you can see they're actually really cool cages. They you know obviously open up. We're actually gonna put some different backdrops in these guys, but uh, and then and fixture them out and stuff like that. So basically we're gonna build a rack that's just two by fours to put these in. Not gonna look really impressive to be honest with you, but once it's done, all fixtured out, it's gonna look just like the Reptarium. So these are the cages we're gonna use for this wall. There's gonna be 18 of them, so let's go ahead and get cranking away. I've been working on building various things from my house to caging, to racking systems, to whatever you can imagine over the last 25 or 30 years. It's not that I have any actual background in it. To be honest with you, half the time I don't even know what I'm doing, but I really do enjoy kind of the creativity behind it and I often say that when you're building something it's not so much about what you know as much as about the fact that you are willing to try it so I always have a good time I hope this room is gonna turn out excellent I always tell people whether it's the Reptarium or whatever project I do I've always built it in my head a hundred times and I have this vision of how it actually is gonna look but until I actually do it you never know how it's actually gonna turn out so we're making some progress on this first wall but to be honest with you we still have a long way to go to build just the racks and making sure everything actually fits in the room. And then after that, we have the fun part, making it look awesome. Definitely a little trial and error, a couple of mismeasurements on my part when I was actually making up the schematics on it. So I have to just change the dimensions around, but we're gonna go ahead and see if they all fit. Let's hope they do. And obviously the lighting will go in between here. So first one's in. Okay, that's success, that's enough for the lighting. And then there'll be a rock panel right here, right? So let's go ahead and get number two. Let's hope number two fits. So far, so good. All right, number two is in. And then finally, this is the real test right here. This is where the kind of mismeasurements came in. So let's hope this one fits. All right, there we go. Good stuff. All right, so I know what you guys are saying. Brian, that looks terrible. I realize it just looks like two by fours with some cages in it, but I promise you when I'm done, this is gonna look like the Reptarium. It's gonna look all rocked out, backs are done. I mean, they're gonna look absolutely beautiful. You're not gonna see any wood at all, so don't worry about that. So uh, now, first one's done, prototype's done. After this, now it's just cutting boards and putting them together. So I tell you, that was a little scary, but of course, now we gotta make sure all the other measurements work out. So I still got a long way to go, but I'm gonna try to work on this first wall first. I've been working with Zoomed since 2009 and I really appreciate them as a company, not just because their products are really one of the most popular products in the entire reptile hobby, but the fact is they're actually involved in the reptile hobby. They're not just putting products out there. They actually show up to reptile shows, they show up to auctions, they donate a tremendous amount of money to US ARC each year and the reptile hobby in a whole. So they're super supportive of the reptile hobby because the owner was actually a reptile hobbyist himself, not just someone that wanted to make a product for money, but actually so in that collected reptiles and were involved from the very beginning. And I tell you what, ZoomEd has always supported us in all of our vision, so it's really great to be working with them on this Gecko Room project. Then as far as lighting on this wall, when we finally get done, we have the Reptisun TH, which is the LF60s, that actually go right in here, and they'll just go right here. Now, we don't need heat bulbs in here because these are all gonna be geckos that need to be cooler, like in the mid-70s, even lower 70s. So these lights will fit right in here, and then there'll be a rock panel that goes right here, and we can just peel that rock panel up to get to the bulb if we ever need to replace it because they'll have UVB bulbs in there. So uh, that way we have you know UVB on the animals, we have beautiful lighting, we can plant some plants for bioactive for them to grow and stuff like that. But it'll be super simple for us to service it. That'll be great. Now that the first wall is actually done, we've got to move on to the second wall. Each 
each well has actually got a different configuration of cages. So this is the only one that has the exact same size enclosures. So this one actually has 24 inch and 36 inch ones, and then some bigger ones in the center. The problem is, just like with everything, is that you have to kind of be uh, willing to revise your plans a little bit, right? So I did the measurement to the ceiling, but I didn't take into account these pipes right here. There's nothing I could do. I can't move the pipes. So now I'm going to have to reconfigure how to fit those enclosures in and still be able to slide the racks in. So uh, got to do a little bit of thinking here, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So obviously it was important that this fits underneath here like that, which just basically meant I have to shrink all my other dimensions so that everything would actually fit in here and still have it. I think it's right. I'm not 100% sure till I build the first one because I have to change the plan a little bit. Don't know if it's going to work, but I think in my head it's going to work out good. So let's just go ahead and put the first rack together, put the glass in there, and then ultimately we'll find out if it does work. And that's another thing that I've learned through building all this stuff is that you have to be willing to kind of adapt because I'm not the greatest when it comes to measuring and making sure that I'm 100% precise. Uh, it happens all the time where I just don't take into account something. Remember when we built the Reptarium, we almost didn't fit the cages through the door because they only had a quarter inch of clearance and I thought there was gonna be three inches of clearance. So sure enough, these pipes are giving me a little grief, but hopefully this first rack works out. Are these meals? Where do I shoot it? Oh my god, I can't hear it. Whoa! I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Double tap. <laughs> oh my god! Are you proud of your son? I'm very proud of you, son. Getting bigger. Take marshmallows are getting bigger. Yeah, they're real good. <laughs> yeah, we're at the jumbo size marshmallows. You know the square ones you can buy for campfires? It fits. Oh my gosh. Like I've done this before. It's almost like you built a whole reptilian. And look at it, it fits just barely under. I mean, that is, uh, yeah, that's a close one. Now that there was success and the first one actually does fit, I can continue building the rest of this wall. There's a couple bigger enclosures in it, but more or less, now I know the measurements and things are gonna work out. For a minute there, I was pretty worried. Having fun, and all the pieces are down pretty easy now. Now it's just a matter of assembling the actual racks itself. Then we have one kind of custom with the bigger cages in the center here. So four more of the ones just like this, and then one kind of big center spot right here. So uh, this part should be pretty easy. You know what they say, it takes a village to build a barn. So I was able to enlist Jay and Anthony to help me out on this next wall. Trust me, it helped a lot. And we made some really big progress. I mean, it didn't take long to bang out the second wall. And it's starting to look like a gecko room now. I couldn't be more excited to see this vision start to come to reality. Just put these enclosures in, and these are some of my favorite here. These are the, actually the 24 by 18 by 18s, or NT4s from ZoomEd. Love these guys, and then of course, these are the ones that we use a lot in the Reptarium that are actually 18 by 18 by 36, the NT5s. Uh, absolutely wonderful, so just finishing up this wall. Moving on to the last. All right, we got two of the walls done now. We got the smaller cage over here, the bigger cages here. One last wall to go. That's gonna have a collage of a bunch of different enclosures. So we're making progress. Again, once the Universal Rock gets on the inside as well as you know facading the entire outside, this place is gonna look just like the Reptarium. It's gonna be amazing. But we're making some pretty good progress today. I'm telling you what, I'm pretty impressed. One more wall to go. These are gonna be a bunch of different zoom eds. Again, they're gonna be the 18 by 18 by 24s, the 36 is the 24. So a bunch of variety here, a couple bigger cages. So uh, let's go. So last wall in this gecko room is officially done as far as the outskirts go. Now, of course, we gotta go back and do all the rocking, universal insides, all that type of stuff. So, so this is just the construction part, but we are almost done with the gecko room construction side. Working on this last wall, to be honest with you, it's great to see my vision starting to come too. You know, to think a couple months ago, this basement was literally just full of junk, and now we have a podcast room, we have a colubrid room, we have a control room for all our camera gear, and now the gecko room. I mean, this is one step closer to having the entire basement done, and this room in particular, Jessica is super excited about, and I'm excited about it as well. We'll definitely be able to show some people off, and people that want to do Jessica tours can actually come down and see the gecko room for sure. So this is gonna be amazing almost there I can see the finish line as far as the construction side then it's just a matter of putting all the beautiful facade on to make this place look just like the Reptarium
And speaking of the Reptarium, although this is a kind of a cool room and all, this is a good tune-up for me because, listen, this is a pretty small room when it comes to the expansion that I'm about to do. And it's been a little while since I've done some build projects, so this is a great way to get myself back in the rhythm of it, and it makes me even more excited to start the expansion of 3.0 and eventually 4.0. All right guys, last wall is done. So basically we just have a few things to finish up and then again, Universal Rock comes, we do all the backdrops, we do all of this will be covered, all of this will be covered. Of course, we've got to put all the lighting in that ZoomEd sense. So again, thank you so much for ZoomEd for helping me out on this one. I'm gonna put a link in the description to all their social media and their website. Go show them some love because they always support us here at the Reptarium. So it's awesome that they hooked us up with all this stuff. So regardless, uh, it was quite a build day, wasn't it? So it's looking amazing in here. I'm super excited for the actual fixturing, which will happen here in about two weeks or so. So, uh, wow, tell you what, Brian the Builder on this one. If you enjoyed this video here, do me a favor right over here. This is more of me building the Reptarium. This place is gonna be absolutely incredible. On this side, please hit that subscription button. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.